from Nerd Cheek again, and today we're going to talk about making Google safer for search as well as safe search engines for kids. So here in just a moment we'll talk about that. Alright, so I got a question from one of our uh, viewers about how to have a safer search experience on the web. And so the first thing I want to talk about, since most folks use Google and even the term Google is synonymous with search, is how to make Google a safer search experience. So you're just inside of Google and Again, these settings are also in your mobile device. You could do this. Scroll down to the bottom of the Google page right here. You'll find it right here on Settings. If you're on your um, actual uh, browser, you're going to click Settings. And then inside of Settings, you're going to choose Advanced Search. Now, when Advanced Search pops up, you're going to have a lot of different options. Now, I'll talk about some of these different options, but I really want to focus on one thing that's most important because it's going to make sure that you get less bad stuff in your search and it's best for your kids if you've got this set on all the time so the first thing is you can go down and you can scroll down to this thing called safe search right there inside safe search or you see right now it says show most relevant results well the catch is if there's a term that's a crossover term that's a bad term that you don't want your kids to see or you don't want to see you're gonna get some bad res returns on that search so you can click to filter explicit results. This is even going to control what's going on inside of the image search. This is a big deal, especially today with celebrities being what they are. If someone searches for a celebrity, you don't know if when those images come up whether the celebrity is naked or not. And that's something you don't want your kids exposed to necessarily. So if you go in here to filter explicit result, results, at the very least, you're going to find that celebrity with their clothes on. So anyways, that's a great thing. There's also all kinds of other settings you could do in here. You could you could search by language, region, last update. You can even choose the domain and drill down exactly where you want to be, like a .edu, .org, or .gov versus others. You can make sure it has exact words, phrases, or any stuff like that. So anyways, this stuff is all great. Then you uh, want to get on out of here, make sure your search is set, and then from this point on, you can trust that you've got that filtering explicit results and boom, you can search away. So that's the first thing, settings, advanced, filter results, safe search. Another way you could do it is using safer pages. Now this is a safer page for you if you're using it called startpage.com. It's a search engine and again, it's a bit safer than Google. It's not going to track you. It's not going to keep up with your search, it's going to keep you more private, and that's nice not to be tracked. Google is going to track you, and all that tracking information is used to market to you as well as some of it's stored in your browser, and that makes you less safe. For kids, there are options for kids. KidRex.org is a custom search engine that's safe for kids, and it's by kids, and so there's information for kids and parents, and you can search away in there. It's been around for a while. There's Kittle.co. Kittle is a search engine for kids again. Once it renders, you'll see it. And it's a really nice graphic interface. It's kind of like Google, but it's really much safer for kids. There's not really a search engine, but a page set up at, our, at the U.S. government site for kids.usa.gov. And they can search in here for stuff that's going to be more safe and government approved. And you're going to find really great stuff for homeschoolers and that kind of stuff. It's a great, great, great option. And then the last one I want to talk about again, one of my favorites is DuckDuckGo. DuckDuckGo, when you make a search, whatever you search, it is not tracking you. And it's a, it's a very powerful search engine. It's been around for a while. I've used it in uh, a replacement for Google for when I'm like at work or something. I don't want to necessarily use uh, Google and have my work tracked all about when I'm working. So it says we don't track you up here in the top right corner. And so that's going to keep you safer as well. Uh, we all know that Google is the standard. We all know that Google is the place to be, and we we are under we understand that Google has the power and the force right now. But these are all ways that we can either find safer searches or more control Google or uh, set filters up to to keep off um, explicit results. So we're gonna have more tutorials for kids and families later on about making your um, tablet safe, your iPhone safe, and that kind of stuff. If you've got questions about these kinds of things. 
please leave a, us a comment or message us so that we can know what your questions are and we can answer them. And uh, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, a like, and subscribe to this channel. All right, get out there, get to searching safely, and do it in a nerdy way.